major event. It's the nation making a statement, but it's a statement that's coming in a controversial time. It was a straight road from the, the church, the um, St. Clement Danes Church uh, and, in the Strand, straight across here to St. Paul's. There didn't look to be logistically that many challenges. What, what do you think will be worrying them most about getting the details right on Wednesday morning? Well, I think actually it's because the military put so much planning into it, it does look logis logistically perfect. But, I mean, the difficulties always are and making sure that you bring all the service personnel, all the security around it, and everyone said everything works absolutely to the minute. And we want to make sure, and I'm sure the armed forces do, that Margaret Thatcher is brought to this cathedral at exactly the right time on Wednesday. OK, and just uh, go through some of the detail we saw today. Nothing's left to chance. Uh, the Falklands is a key theme here. Uh, everything that's chosen, nothing is... is by chance, is it? No, absolutely. And you're seeing here the, 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 the people who lined the steps and who will line it on Wednesday. They're from the three services who took part in the Falklands. All the individual regiments and units that took part in the Falklands War itself are represented in the Bearer Party. And at the front and at the rear are two brothers who were serving together in the Welsh Guards during the period of the Falklands and who were on board the Sir Galahad. So, in a sense, it's a salute to a Prime Minister who commanded at a time of war when Britain sent its armed forces into danger. And they're coming to salute her because that was the instruction of the government. Okay.